What's good, Asher? What's the deal? What up? What up? What up? What's good, Ace? What's good, Vice? What's good, Wavy D? What's good? What up? 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 So they say early bird get the worm. You feel me? So I'm about to give y'all my night method. All right. We not about to cake for too long on this brush session. You did. What's good, PC? What's good, Ready Beats? We not gonna cake too long on this brush session, y'all. But I'm gonna let y'all know what I do at night. All right. What I do at night. Let me see where I can put y'all right quick. I appreciate that advice, man. This is definitely hard work. Finally paying off, bro. Finally. What's good, Quay? What's good, Timo? What's the deal? You know it, and I'm live from the 313. <laughs> All right, so my night method, basically, is the easiest night method you ever gonna see. And yes, we in a trap. The trap is the first studio that I had. You know what I'm saying? Downstairs. You know, I got bougie in the upstairs trap. So we in the downstairs trap right now. All right. Um, so easiest night method you probably going to see. I know y'all know my hair be laid. I know y'all know my hair be shiny. So I'm just going to put y'all hip to something simple. All right. What's good? Fat guy, skinny wallet. So you going to need two fangs. Things. Water bottle and oil. Don't complicate life. Whatever oil you use, use that. All right. But thanks, Asher. I appreciate that. You gonna need a spray bottle and some oil. All right. And a softy. And a softy. And a softy. All right. A softy. Yes, I've been sneaking in some curves, you dig? And I beat this thing up because it was in my pocket, so it looked kind of ratchet, but it'll work. What's the deal? Hey, Ready Beats using that Amazon link. Appreciate that. All right, so boom, let's get it. I ain't gonna lie, I've been brushing for like 30 minutes before I decided to go live. I was like, fuck it, I done dropped a little VV today. I'm gonna go live with y'all right quick, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm watching me some Netflix. So once again, I hope y'all liked that Ocean Views video that I dropped about a few hours ago. I hope y'all liked it. Every durag from this point on, y'all gonna see me with is definitely gonna be an Ocean Views durag. What if your hair is too long for this method? It's never too long. I actually replaced this method for... I replaced pomade for this method when I was wolfing at 11 weeks. Oil and water. You'll be amazed. Curve gang. <laughs> Raw digger for sure. <laughs> um, listen. Rico Remix Durags was hands down my favorite Dewey. Hands down. Um, I didn't like the thick trimming on that joint. You know, like. If the rag was green, it had like a thick outer trimming. That's the only thing I didn't like. But I would say they neck and neck. They neck and neck, bruh. But uh, I think these more durable. Alright, so let's get it. Right, oil, then water. So, <clears throat> you basically get your, get your brush on. What's good, Jack Rick? <laughs> What's the deal? You basically get your brush on, you know what I'm saying? I prefer the soft brushes. Um, cause you just basically you you about to lay it down, you know what I'm saying? You ain't going nowhere. You want you wanna lay your waves down, you want them things looking crazy when you unrack in the morning. <sighs> Girl me. And um so <laughs> alright fam, look, I'm not here to sell you, I'm here to brush tonight. So <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what else to tell you, bro. 
Okay, so you basically get your brush on. Hopefully your hair is not stupid dry before you start your brush session. If it is, just throw you some oil in that thing and keep it going. Um, come on, man. You know what I used to call you? I used to call you Jake <laughs> from State Farm. Ah, come on, man. We got to get you another name, dog. Thank, I appreciate you, bro. It's all I love, man, even though I butcher your name. On a consistent basis, it's all love. Uh, Alpha Wave, that's crazy. I have never heard of it taking that long. That's crazy. Um, anything is possible. You never know why. Might have been holidays. I don't know. But I have yet to hear a bad experience for shipping. So, I mean, I personally don't ship them out, but I'll apologize to you for whatever... Um, delay you might have had, man. Sean Steed, and that's what that's the problem, fam. Y'all gotta wake the wolves up sometime, dog. But the softy ain't gonna wake it up, fam. I'm telling you. Oh, I forgot. You need a plastic bag, but we'll get there in a minute. Well, that's Surag, fam. That ain't got nothing to do with OVD. That's Surag, fam. So, you on soft brush, you know what I'm saying? You soft brush, make sure everything laid. I'm gonna tell y'all what the method is, then I'm gonna do it, and then I'm gonna show y'all again, you feel me? So you go soft brush, all right? You gonna put the oil in. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna rub you some oils in or either put the oil in your brush. That's my favorite go-to. Oil in the brush. Um you're gonna brush that, brush that through. Then you're gonna plastic bag. Then you spray the water last and rag up. And yes, I'm gonna call you Ali. I watch the old videos and I cringe like. In my soul, I be like, Ooh, I was speaking the truth, but them videos was mad ghetto, bro. <laughs> the videos was, the color was orange. I mean, bro, that shit looked foul, bro. I had like junk in the background. It was embarrassing. That's why I fucks with y'all, because y'all fucked with me even though my videos was ghetto as hell. <laughs> y'all know my heart was in the right place. Asher, uh, pomade is for hold and a butter is for hair health. That's the best difference that I could tell you. Some pomades, I mean, some butters possess a hold in property. But for the most part, when you hear pomade, you want to think hold. And when you hear butter, you want to think hair health, all right? Some pomades are good and make your hair healthy, but... What's good, Taz? What's good, Quay? <laughs> yeah, man, my heart was in the my heart was in the right place, family. You know what I'm saying? But in the back, ooh, I had clothes, I had dishes, I was smoking blacks. Man. Rap music was in the background. Ooh. Oh, here we go with a troll. Alright, so. I'm going to move on to the curvy boy. I'm going to put my oil in. We use a Regal 9 uh, because I had the flu like a week ago. Week ago. Like a week ago. All right. Week and a half ago, I had the flu. Man, I was straight up ugly, bro. I didn't brush for an entire week. I barely do rag. When I when I like bounced back, bro, from being sick, my hair was hard. It was gray, and I'm not capping, bro. My hair was fucked up. <laughs> I was in bad shape, family. I was in bad shape. So all I'm trying to do right now is get my hair back together. I know y'all look at it and be like, "Yeah, right," but trust, my hair was in the trenches. Uh, shine recommendations. 
Argan oil is my preferred. Argan oil is my preferred um, oil for shine. But to be honest with you, hair health is going to get you to shine. If you get your hair health on point, you're going to have zero products in your hair and it'll shine. So, if you must have an oil for shine, let it be argan or an oil that has um, heavy argan oil in it. Brushing from the crown are ultimately going to make your crown smaller. Facts. Facts. Who said that? Rick. That's what I'm going to say. Rick. Facts. I have lived my whole life, my whole wavy life. Um, by focusing on brushing from the crown out more than me isolating the crown per se. And I got one of the best crowns in the game for the past <laughs> hundred years. So, I mean, every time I take somebody in, under my wing and, and try to preach to them and teach them how to better their crown, I always preach strokes from inside the crown out because you're just teaching your hair to to form closer from the crown out that's why a lot of people would take a lot of people too long if you have to choose oils or moisturizer oils oils mousse <laughs> i've used some shea moisture mousse before um, I don't usually touch that type of shit unless it's summertime. If I if I don't feel like using um pomade, but generally no, nah, it's not in my rotation. I appreciate that. What's your true what's your true definition of hair health? Shiny, soft, and fast growing hair are three signs of healthy hair. Shiny, soft, Shiny, soft. And the third one that I had said before that. <laughs> That's my definition. Cold pressed, ready beats. Cold pressed, just like cold pressed olive oil is the best, in my opinion. You got scientific reasons as to why cold pressed is the best. But we're not going to get into all that. Mr. Wavy, come on, quit fucking playing with me. Where's Mr. Wavy, bro? Come on, man. Because you already know how I get down, bro. I will pull up on you. <laughs> um, hell no. <laughs> Asher, hell no. Never. Never. First of all, as I am, Double Butter shines better than uh, Curly Hansen's movie. When I use As I Am Double Buttercream, I don't have to follow up with an oil. Unless I just want overkill. So, never mix those two. That's too much of the similar ingredients. It's not necessary. And I will tell you this before you get carried away. The less is better when it comes to trying to figure out what's best for your hair. Less. All right, don't get the caking up stuff. I challenge you, Asher. Come here. Come here. I challenge you. Come here, man. You think I'm playing with you? Come here. I challenge you to wash, condi wash and condition your hair. Or wash and style, unrag, and just use oils. Okay? For 24 hours. And you're going to see, damn, I don't need a lot of other shit I've been using in my hair. Oh, yeah, stacks of meal. I appreciate that. Yeah, fast growing hair. That's my third. I need that. Move. Uh, Tess. I just recently whipped out me some cold label pomade. But I did drop the seven juices and berries. I dropped it because I've been, um... I've been using the Regal 7, the Regal 9, and the Texas Tea Oil by J. Lou. So I did drop the 7 juices, but I am fucking with that. <laughs> Wolf and Pomade. What the fuck? 
<laughs> what night method would you prefer? The day before a cut? Well, hopefully the day before a cut, your hair is clean with zero products. And I would prefer you use like a spray bottle and a softy, you know, if you if your hair is dry. But I mean, I go cold turkey on wash days, zero products, zero water, just um, combing and soft brushing uh, the day before a cut. 48 viewers. What's good, everybody? It's your RG3, and I'm in a trap. If it's your first live of 2020, this is the trap. This is this is this is the second bathroom in the house, and it's the trap. It's not my usual spot to brush in, but you did. We politicking. I'm kicking it with y'all, showing y'all this night method right quick. Do you feel me? So, what's good, Dimitri? It's the difference between cold pressed and regular. Oh, JNYC is a whole process of how they extract the oil from the seed or the bean or whatever the case is. Um, it's just basically a more purer form of getting the oil out of the source. Vice versa. Now, I appreciate that. You better say a lot for the bitches in the back. Vice versa. Say a lot for the bitches in the back. I might be unorthodox, but a lot of my shit works for different hair textures. Um, you know, I just try to keep it simple and uh, get it. Uh, Ali, you know what? We are definitely cousins. So, <laughs> me and Jay Lou definitely cousins, fam. You know? Definitely. Fuck it. 46 viewers. I want y'all to drop area codes. And I also need them 20 likes. Give me give me 25 likes. And I can't go no further. What's good, Elvin? Big WTBD in this bitch. What's good, Elvin? What's the deal? When you condition, don't you lose the leather from shampoo and can't get the same lay? I can't stand Look, I, I look. I do my condition thing. I rinse it out with cold water, and if I'm gonna wash in style after that, I do that. I hurry up and do that. I don't really um. Some people do conditioning in styles. I can't stand it. Where they put the conditioner in, throw the do rag in, on and rinse it off. I can't stand that. I don't do that. It don't rinse out well, and my hair really don't be shining after that. Was good, Nasheen. How did you get that Texas tea oil? I want to try that oil out. Sean Steve. Listen, pay attention, son. Look at me. This is my ship now. <laughs> Go on the link down below. I got $2 off that Texas tea. You feel me? Use my code. You get $2 off. Go cop. Might still be a sale over there, too. What's good, Jonathan? I used to smoke weed in the bathroom and put the shower on so there's no smell when I was 16. <laughs> Listen, you couldn't have been smoking no... You couldn't have been smoking no loud, bro. It would have it smelled anyway. Facts. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Demarcus, listen, bro. You damn right, bro. I really need to kick that out. I be tripping, y'all. I straight up be tripping. I straight up be tripping, man. Definitely need a product lineup video. Y'all gonna be kind of disappointed because I don't use a trillion products no more. Yep, I'm hip, Sean. I know, fat guy, skinny wallet. I know. Uh, uh. <laughs> My right side been giving me hell until I started brushing it down. Crack down my left side straight and right side down. Yeah, bro. Yeah, we all. You'll be surprised how many different angles you got to tweak a different side of your head. My left, I could brush straight forward. But my right, it's best to brush it downward. So it's just, you know, our parents kind of threw us in the blender. Fucked us up a little bit. 
make our hair grow different ways. You know, we can't we can't do nothing about that Arlo big fucking WTBD. We got to do a meet and greet in Baltimore, Maryland. I got folks down there. Shout out to the 412 from the 313. All love through this bitch. What's good? 773 West Side, Chicago. We got Chicago in the building. Let, let me tell you something, Chicago. I'm going to need some of them exclusive shoe drops that y'all y'all cats be hogging up. You feel me? I'm going to need me some Jordans. Them shy bitches. Them limited boys that come out you know, All-Star Weekend. I'm going to need that from you. Florida. Florida be showing mad love, man. Florida be showing mad love. Florida be showing mad love, man. 254 in the building, PC Franklin. <laughs> Shout out Baltimore and this bitch too. New York and this bitch, y'all show mad love. Wavy J, what's good, man? Well, we need to get to it. I'll uh, recap this joint before, you know what I'm saying? Home of the Dirty 30, so we probably get a 30-minute joint in. We got nine more minutes to go. 209, Stockton, California in the house. What's the deal, Bryce? What's the fucking deal? Um, Bianca. Yes, but I really don't complicate life because I, put, I apply my products whatever way I want to apply them. Whatever way my hair like for me to apply my products, I do that. Sometimes I just, you know, when you do, when you've been doing something for so long, you don't really, <laughs> you don't really complicate the shit. So, listen, I didn't try washing with a soft, and I didn't try washing with a medium, fam, and that shit is garbage. I really think it depends on hair texture. Really depends on think. I really think it depends on the person or you know what they're used to doing to their hair. I mean, it just really depends. So um, I don't. I don't tell people to do that because I wouldn't be able to explain how to how that shit will work. But I've tried it and my, my hair then came out really um over curled and uh I was pissed. I like hard brushes to wash with. They build depth, but I am willing to try a few more different mediums to see if I can catch a certain kind that might work. That's what's, good. That's what's good, Wavy J. Yeah, man. When you don't abuse the washing style, it will pay you dividends. Yo! Seven more minutes! When you don't abuse the washing style, it will pay off. Um, and what I mean is don't get addicted to it to where all you're doing is washing, styling. Abuse your hair throughout the day saying, oh, I'm just going to wash and style. You kind of like cheating, but it's a lot of elite waivers out here that just survive off the washing style, to be honest with you. But I ain't going to say no motherfucking names, because that ain't what we're here for. Louisville, Kentucky tears the dime in the 502. Oh, yeah, Vice. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I need them threes, bro. You already knew which ones I was talking about. My sides are weak and gentle, and instead of brushing them straight on, brushing them toward my eyebrow. Yeah, man, I hope it's working for you. Another thing is don't don't cut them out. Don't cut them out, meaning don't cut them too low. That will set you back. Keep them weak. So keep them thick, keep them growing. Keep them thick, keep them growing. And keep brushing them bitches. Hell yeah, uh, I can't pronounce your name, D-N-I-Z-U-S, Facts, I'm on the Lux Butter, okay, Facts, I'm on the Lux Butter, that's the only butter I'm using, but just my night method only consists of oil and water. What's good, Way Mechanic? Wavy J, my bad bro, I'm gonna give you the method. I've been kicking it, so let's, let's speed up the method so I can let Wavy J know what's the deal. Wavy J, you gonna need... You're going to need a spray bottle and 
some oil. It does not have to be this oil. A spray bottle and some oil. I do suggest it be a light oil, not a thick ass oil. All right. Water and oil. What you do when you unrag, you brush with a softy. All right. Bloop, 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 bloop. After you brush with your softy, put some oil in your brush. Oil in the brush. However long you're trying to brush. This is my night method. So I don't be trying to really hang around like that. So 20, 30 minutes, whatever your night session to be. Brush with the softy with the oil. All right. Then you at this point where we at right now. If y'all gonna laugh at my plastic bag, I suggest you do it in privacy. Because if you laugh, if you post the emoji on my shit right now, I'm liable to get the tripping. So, <laughs> you plastic bag. <laughs> you plastic bag, right? You plastic bag, you basically laying that oil. You laying that oil down and that softy work you just got done doing, you feel me? I know some people that plastic bag five, ten minutes. You don't have to do that. Alright. So plastic bag, lay it down. Yes, she noticed came. I absolutely would suggest her products. Her wet, wet, wet butter, her uh, argan, her argan hair lotion, and her avocado butter. All right, so after you plastic bag and Mr. Wavy, you already know we beefing because you decided to laugh at my plastic bag in my face. So I'm liable to get tripping on you, bro. So anyway, um,. <laughs> Then you spray, spray the uh, water, all right? You're not trying to saturate your fucking hair. You're just trying to mist some water on top of the hair, you feel me? So that the do-rag uh, lay it real good. What's good, Mello? What's the fucking deal? So you just going to mist your joints, feel me? All right? Then we're going to throw the dewy on and everything. Going to marinate the oil and the water going to hit together. It's going to lay them things stupid lay. All right, overnight, get that extra boost of moisture. So, you just, you just missing it. All right. You don't do nothing to it, but do rag. You do rag. It's basically a winter replacement for the cold wet do rag. In the summer, it's hot. You want um, you want mine the cold water do rag method. But in the winter time, man, you just want to mist the hair, help your hair absorb the water. I mean, help your hair absorb the oil, and um, lay them down for the night. You know what I'm saying. So you rag up if you're wolfing. You can double compress. If not, just straight up rag up. I appreciate that way, mechanic. Hey man, nobody got to go to go oil, fam. <laughs> not yet. I'm pretty sure a lot of people out there about to cut. Um, Wavy J, you can definitely add pomade, but make sure the water is still last. Make sure the water is last. Make sure the water is last. Right, no matter what you do. All right. So, fam, if that's how you feel, make sure you tell him that to his face. Make sure you type that man in his DM. You know what I'm saying? So, recap for everybody that's late. Oil and water. I suggest a thin oil, like a caster. Well, no, not, not caster, because that's thick. Argan. Vitamin E, um, what else? Pumpkin seed, peppermint oil, something, all right? 
coconut thin oil, right? You get your brush session on. Grape seed, good one. Tea tree, good one. So you put that in. You bang that. You know what I'm saying? You bang that. And um, after you bang that, you plastic bag. Make sure your drink is laid. Plastic bag. And then you mist it with the water. Not to saturate. All right? Don't try to soak your hair. You mist in everything. All right? Boom. All right? And then you rag up. Okay? Olive oil. My man. Good, good looking, Sean. All right, so do trolling. So it's time for me to head out. Home of the Dirty 30 session. We in a trap. I appreciate y'all for sticking with me for the 30 minutes, getting our talk on, our brush on. Um, so, it's your girl, RG3, man. I'm live from the 313. Follow me on Instagram. Link below if you want to cop um, some Texas tea oil. Link below, $2 off. If you want my fluffy puffs, link below. You feel me? All right. Um, Instagram link below, all that, all that. Uh, for sure, I got you mellow all day. Shout out to everybody. It's your girl, RG3. Live from the 313.